Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and to the Valley Gaming's Flames of War 2023 Championship introduction. So no battle report, uh, but we'll be going over what is going to be happening over the next uh, few weeks for the channel. So uh, if you uh, have persisted with me and the channel for uh, the last year, you would remember that towards the end of last year, we did the 2022 Championship Games using uh, forces from mid-war. So uh, this time we're back. We're back for late war, um, and we have myself, Jimmy, Richard, and we have John uh, coming in for the championship for the first time. So, as you can see from the thumbnails of the introduction, uh, it will show what nations we're using and the formations we have. So, some nice interesting looking ones, some nice build uh, formation cards, which I should make uh, should make for an interesting little championship. So we will go over the lists by looking at the models themselves, because we always like looking at those models. Um, maybe discussing some what I think could be some key units uh, for those forces, and then right at the back, uh, if you could pause it uh, with the actual list breakdown. Uh, so we'll go straight into that, and um, let me know what you think of the lists uh, going forward. But before we start looking at the list, I would like to give a shout out to Firestorm Games, who have kindly given me a link to put in my description. I will take you straight through to their website to uh, take uh, the advantage of the discounts that they have on their Flames of War products. So if you uh, like the look of these lists, but you don't have the units, why not have a look at Firestorm Games? Because they'll help you out. Uh, they're fast, reliable, and have excellent customer service. By using my link, you will be helping me support the, the channel, uh, which will obviously be very much appreciated from you, the viewers. So now we can have a look at the lists. Okay, so here is my 100 points of Bulge British for the Flames of War 2023 Championship. So we have a Frost's Parachute Rifle Company. Uh, these are changed to uh, First Polish Parachute Brigade, the Black Berry. So basically the 2 plus last stand uh, becomes a 2 plus counterattack. And we have two teams for the HQ, two SMG teams. We then have two platoons, that is seven Rifle Brangen teams with two Piats. And then we have three three inch mortars, four Vickers Heavy Machine Guns, and four Recce Jeeps. In support, we have the four Daimlers in the Daimler troop, uh, three Chaffees, four Archers, and four comets, and I have the Reg Titch Snowling command card. So basically, discard this card to reroll up to two misses and up to two failed firepower tests for the unit by 17 pounder guns on Firefly tanks or 77 millimeter guns on Comet tanks. So for two points, not bad, and it also makes this and this bang on 40 points reserve. So what do I think will be a key unit for my list? Well, of course, the formation will be doing a lot of work, but I think the Comets, Front Armour 7, Anti-Tank 14, 3 plus Remount, and being quite fast are going to be quite key. But I also think if I use the Archers and the Chaffees in a good way, these might also be key. So it's basically... it's whole formation, well, force coherency, because the Comets aren't going to do the job on their own, and neither are the paratroopers, so, but I think the highlight unit will be the Comets, because they're my new favourite, I do like the Comets. This is Richard's American Bulge Force uh, for the championship. So he did try this out and he's stuck to it. And I quite like it. It is a nice looking list. So the primary formation, we have two of them, uh, is a, a Battle Weary Rifle Company. But they are upgraded to the 2nd Infantry Division, the Indian Head. So they makes them confident. 4 plus rally, counter attack, and last stand. So not bad at all. So we have a HQ of two SMG teams. We then have two rifle platoons, which is 10 rifle teams, and they also have a bazooka. And one of these are upgraded to Thompson SMGs, which is uh, unique to the 2nd Infantry Division. So basically, as you can see here, it's very interesting. So obviously, the uh, rate of fire changes because they got SMGs, but they have an assault rating of 3 plus. Very nice. 
Also in the formation, we have four uh, mortar units as well. And then the second formation is a build uh, formation from the command cards, which is an M5 Stuart Cavalry Tank Company, consisting of two Stuarts for the HQ. We then have a unit of four Stuarts, a unit of three, and then we have uh, three um, M8 assault gun platoon. So basically Stuart with a little howitzer on it. In support, we have four M36 Jacksons, and four M18 Hellcats. So a key unit, I would say, uh, for Richard would, well, I would say is the formation command card, uh, making them confident, because otherwise they would be uh, having a five plus rally, um, which ain't great. Um, oh no, they're just, they're just reluctant, but I think they have a four plus rally. So this is quite good to have, especially for counterattacks and last stands. And I think the other one would be this unit that will be hitting on threes in assault. That is 10 teams, chaps, uh, that will be hitting on threes, so not bad. And this is Richard's 100 points of Bulge American. Here is James's uh, Bulge German list for the championship games. Two formations, both build formations from the command card. So the first one is Kampf Group Hummel. So basically this formation consists of one uh, HQ Tiger 1 and then two units of two Tiger 1s. Bear in mind these are all downgraded. So they are confident with a 3 plus last stand and 3 plus remount. But they are aggressive and are trained and they have reduced movement values as you can see here and a cross check on a 4 plus. But other than that they're still a Tiger 1. The second formation is SS Schnell Group Nittel. Uh, so this is basically a recce formation, uh, an SS recce formation, so consisting of one Puma for the HQ, then two Pumas, a 2-2, two, two, um, let's get it right, a 250 scout troop, so consisting of two ones with two centimeter cannons and MGs, then is a recon SS reconnaissance platoon of seven teams uh, with seven 250 half tracks, one of them has a little cannon, then we also have four uh, eight centimeter mortars, and six armored 7.5 centimeter guns. In support, we have three Vesps, a Panzer III OP, and, our, and an Ardennes armored Panzer Grenadier platoon. So a key unit for Jimmy, pretty much everything is aggressive in this list, apart from the Vesps, the OP, and the Ardennes Panzer Grenadiers. So it will most likely, will probably be these three key units for him, obviously, the smoke and the artillery from the Vesps will be useful, or might even be key. The Panzer III OP spotting for everyone, and the need for an assault for these guys will be crucial, because assaulting with aggressive troops is quite difficult, and the fact that these guys are um, got quite reduced stats might limit their effect effectiveness, but with uh, the amount of 80-15, 80-14 knocking about, they might not last too long, but a very interesting list and fun and fun looking list. The only thing is, do they have enough fuel? And here we have a uh, John's Berlin Soviet force for the championship games. So all this guy, all this at the back there, don't include the Shermans and the Scouts, are all one big formation. It is a Hero Guards Motor Rifle Battalion. So we have a HQ of two SMG teams. We then have two companies of 10 DPMG teams each with a Commissar, and both of them have a Panzerfaust anti-tank. Cost them three points each, but they do have them. We then have a Hero Guards SMG company, which is seven PPSH SMG teams, a Commissar, a Flamethrower team, and these guys also have Panzerfausts. Still in formation, we have four Hero T-34-85. We have three 82mm mortars, three 120mm mortars, and four 57mm anti-tank guns. And that is the Hero Guards Motor Rifle Battalion. In support, we have three BA-64 Scout cars and five M4 Sherman 76s. Originally, we had five T-34-85s, but it turns out that was an illegal list because you can't uh, 
have a unit of even with just a little title change so we put the shermans in and that's why uh, there's no make your own luck command cards so a key unit for this list it's the infantry guys <laughs> these guys are panzer fausts and they hit on twos in assault um bearing in mind that also includes the panzer faust yeah yeah no the panzer faust would be assault three and bear in mind, these are limited to Panzerfausts as well. So these are really scary for tanks and infantry to assault. Um, so they're going to be quite deadly. And there's a lot of them as well. Plenty of artillery as well. No smoke, of course, being the Soviets. Uh, and also the um, Mchers, the Sherman 76s, are going to be quite good as well. Being a front armor 7, an AT-12 gun. And obviously they do have some good stats as well because they can get in a little bit easier with their protected ammo and they also have a last stand the three plus so they are green uh, and aggressive but they have some good stats back into the map and that is the soviet list for john Okay, so those are the lists, chaps. Um, the first game will be uh, myself versus John and that horrible Soviet list. And the second game then will be also John versus Jimmy because we we're trying to pack as many games when those two are actually free at the same time. But the question is, folks, who is your money on? Now, when you have a little prediction on the first, second, third and fourth and Am I right in those key units? What do you think? What do you think lists should be different? Um, what for, what you know? Would it be a complete overhaul on some of those nations? Um, and I suppose as well, what lists are you looking forward to seeing the most? And what units are you looking forward to seeing the most? Feel free to comment. I always like to uh, see people's uh, thoughts and opinions. Um, so yeah, hopefully I can I will uh, hear back from you.